Hello everyone, Tough Hunter here. Gonna be getting some new gameplay with a crazy deck I've been using. And uh, it's crazy because none of my pilots cost more than two. That's right, I've gone the way of Jay Dizzy using all two cost pilots. Not fully the same lineup, but uh, you'll see a setup at some point. The idea is that you get Stim out to tank, and since they buffed him, he now heals 50% of his total HP whenever he caps a point. So at level 18, it ends up being uh, half his HP is uh, 900 he heals every time you've got the point. So I'm up against Satoru here. I've played him several times uh, in a row, which is probably why he has the angry face. So I lead off with the stem, and when I need damage, I will follow up with Ghost and Sniper, because stem itself, he just tanks, but Ghost deals about 1,000 with her shot, and Sniper deals about 600 per shot. Since I've charged Sniper out, I just want it gone, so I'm going to go straight at it. Probably deployed it a little too close to that turret, the Ghost I mean. So he's going to shoot uh, and probably take some turret damage, but that's fine. Going to put the drones over those Spectres to take them out. And at the same time, I had dropped down some Rocket Grunts, still damage there. And bam. So now you're trying to learning why those burns? I've got two mines, rocket grunts, drones. The idea is, you know, drones, we know that they, they kill sentries, they kill Sim Ninja, they kill Spec Cap. Uh, the Arcman helps with that as well. You know, they're also good against uh, Titans. I kind of use the Arcman as like a, as a two cost EMP. And now the EMP's gotten nerfed, the Arcman actually even does more damage. And then uh, rocket grunts are sort of that all purpose I need extra DPS. They do great damage versus humans and robotic. And uh, they're all of them firing at the same time will do things like kill a ghost outright or uh, help two shot a lot of pilots. So it's really easy to grab the points here, even just using two class pilots. So that my Titans, meaning Core Eye and Ronin, and when the smoke follow up. And you can see these three here, I'm not even using any amp, nothing special. They just go right at the turret. Smoke is going to drop it right there. You see in the corner, it's going to do tons of damage. And now at this point, he's just going to melt away. This is a quick game, but I just wanted to show you how this can work in the meta. Obviously, not every game is going to be this easy of a turret kill, as you will see coming up. So now that you've gotten a little taste, you're going to come up against a harder opponent. Who's the next opponent is S Eraser, uh, someone who's in the top 10 right now. Uh, in fact, from this point on, it's going to be all top 10 opponents or very well-known opponents. So against S Eraser, I'm going to do a little interesting strat. I'm going to go straight for his A. Why? Because I can have Sniper back up when I go for his A. And he's probably not even expecting this. So he, of course, he splits. I'm going to drop mine, which is actually a high enough level. It's going to one-hit KO his hull. Um, I was going to send the Ghost to kill a Gunner. Then I realized the sniper was out there, so I'm going to go straight for the sniper. My sniper finishes off his gunner. My ghost kills the sniper, and goes back and is going to grab A. So at this point, all I lost was what? Stim, sniper, mine. That was six. He lost gunner, sniper, hollow. That was what? Eight? <laughs> My math's terrible today. Dropping drones to kill sentries because robotic DPS is very hard to come by for my pilots. The thing is, I use three pilots that are great against human, but I use burns that are good against robotic. Dropping those rocket grunts, and they're going to fire right at that sniper, and bam, he's gone. Sniper's gone, and now they're in range of that gunner. Poor gunner. Look at that. It took half his HP just like that. And did kill the a little stim bruiser which makes me sad however he only cost two just gonna deploy him again so Ron is working around the turret gonna put the uh, core ion down and it's gonna help quickly get rid of the drones so those rocket grunts don't take too much yeah I've got that beastly core ion out there gonna encounter that howl not gonna deal too much to him about like a third of his HP per shot now he's a little focused on the ion I'm going to drop uh, an arc mine right there, and bam, that ion is gone. 
didn't even stand a chance. Just got annihilated. Fortunately, the hollow annihilates my ghost. Didn't quite play that one right. It's okay. Moving on. I'm going to just go right for that turret. And then send another ghost to finish off the hollow. He's going to have two hard points. But it's fine. We've got plenty of score advantage. And now his turret is taking quite a bit of damage. He does send a smoke for defense. Which is going to take out my Corion. And he's actually going to defend it right here. So you see I have done this one damage. But he was able to kill everything I had there. So I had to send a... Timbers are out to regrab A, goes to regrab C, so now I'm currently grabbing B. And then I'm just gonna throw down a Ronin. Just try to take everything out here. I'm not even concerned about the turret now. They're all three hard points again. I'm gonna throw down rocket rounds from that cap, but it's a little too slow. At least stop him from getting it though. Uh, I it, oh, with the sniper going out, I'm probably gonna need to drones just to finish it off. Or I can send ghosts. Uh, this ghost just cooldown just finished. As long as the ghost doesn't shoot at the drone, fortunately it does. However, sniper, lost line of sight, fires, doesn't kill the ghost, ghost fires back and kills him. Luckily my ghost was high enough level, it survived that sniper shot. And now, I'm up 92 to 29. Send the core iron out again. Drones, and this game is over. And that's just with a bunch of two cost pilots. Uh, next game coming up is probably going to be a little more difficult than this one. Forget exactly who it's against, but uh, <clears throat> we'll see. So the the biggest thing I have to worry about in this deck is dealing with robotics. Uh, luckily, I do have drones and arc mine. Arc mine is great against you know. Boomer Shield, Spec Cap, Ninja. Um, sometimes uh, it can even kill sentries if there's a, a unit standing next to it that can detonate it. I don't know if that comes up, but it did come up quite a few times. Um, I actually ended up playing 350 or 70 games this guild's objective. So I had quite a lot of practice with this deck. <coughs> oh, up against... Cajun Mutani, uh, formerly known as the, what was it, uh, Cajun Power or something? I know the, the name got changed with the new patch. Uh, Cajun's another person who um, probably faced me like 20 or so times with this deck. So, gonna send the sim out. Little drone action. Uh, mine does go down, so my stim is gonna take some damage there, however... Uh, he's not shooting at it, so it's gonna get it's gonna get unstunned. It's actually gonna kill that ghost because the boomer was distracted. Cut the point and heal to almost full HP. Luckily my sniper's been up there. It was uh, picking off a shunt, but it's fine. Oh, stim was down to about what 20%, so it's gonna heal to eh, give or take 70. Don't want that ghost grab the point. Rocket grunts reveals it. They fire. Ghost is dead. Only one rocket grunt took some damage. My ghost grabbed A. Moving on. Gonna have all three hard points. And the game is just a Titanfall. Get that run out. Start doing some damage. And unfortunately, his ghost is gonna take out my sniper. That's fine. Because now his ghost is gonna have to deal with the Corion. And it's probably gonna die like that. Titanfall plus shotgun from the stem. Kills it pretty quickly. Crying against Strider, no contest. That Strider's gonna die. Ghost is gonna go in against the gunner. Unfortunately, I didn't back up the ghost, so it's probably going to die, and the gunner will be at like 10% HP or less. Yeah, like 1% HP. Hops up, crying shoots, it's dead. No true ace of the ghost, because it was sort of like a ghost gunner trade. Uh, this Ronin is about to have a bad time. The arc line there was wasted, but if needed, it would have gone off, and then that laser, and it was game. I didn't realize uh, how close that ion was laser, otherwise I could have saved the arc line. He does shunts me, kills off a uh, ghost. Stim there is just about dead. Now I'm gonna arc mine his spec depot, because what's gonna happen, the spec is gonna just pile up there, arc mine deals a decent amount of damage to it, and it's just gonna decay 
I might get off one more round of specters there. It's not that big a deal. You now at this point, it's game. Turret dies. Hardly a contest. But that was all because I had a bunch of cheap pilots, and my opponent was wasting supply, sending out three and four class pilots that were just dying too easily. Uh, did have ghosts on uh, specters and depot. I'm surprised that I didn't see shields, shield generator. Uh, would have been nice to give all those specters a little bonus, but I think he adapted that strategy later. So now we're going to come up against the uh, fear tier, or feeder, I prefer, I'm going to call him fear tier, he's missing an R though for that, so fine, feeder it is. Uh, he has been top five on ladder this entire guild objective, so he's a nice opponent to showcase against. I'm going to put the uh, sentry tech, which by default got better um, since gunner got worse, and just robotic damage is a pain to deal with. And you're going to see here my epic fail in this game. I'm going to keep sending ghosts after the sniper, forgetting about those uh, sentries there. So it's going to shoot at the sentry and get up there and not be stealth anymore. And then take sniper ball to the face. Uh, the first time I did this, I was so confused. I ended up just doing it again. Um, I think I do get the sniper, but it took me at least two attempts to realize that I kept shooting at the sentry on stealthing taking a ton of damage and not getting a sniper. So that was embarrassing. Uh, as you can see here, I had to deploy drones to help get rid of that sentry because I just needed some range robotic damage. Uh, I do also finally just say, screw it, rocket grunts, and at least the guy on the bottom right shoots up, kills a sniper, and finally I've got a decent hold on B. Sentry is going to do some work to the rocket guns now, but I'm just going to have to deal with it. I'm going to run it down here just to kill all those specters down there. Oh, those are rocket guns again. I hmm, guess they're becoming popular, huh? So he puts a sniper out, and uh, he wants to keep it near that sentry. He wants that ghost just to keep hitting the sentry. And there we go, another sentry. He's really trying to defend B without even owning B, which is kind of funny. And uh, I realized, oh, I don't have it anymore. I'm going to have some trouble holding B. I should at least grab A back. I'm going to put my sniper up there because nothing can contest it right now. What I really need is to put a Titan in B, like Coraline, and just let him kill that sniper, kill those sentries, just take care of business. So I'm just going to mine, send in a stem. And it's just going to clear that whole area. Uh, I am down two hard points to none, but this is where I'm, everything's going to go in full swing. Just have a new Glatwiss uh, beating my medium turret, and I just really don't care. I'm just going to let it go. I've actually broken through his medium with the Corion by itself, and it gets so confused and tries to target that sniper because it was just drunk. I'm just going to drone the sniper at this point. I'm not too concerned. Uh, Sentry Tech is going to be going down to A. And he's going to be met with a Ronin. That sentry tech is going to die. And I realize, ooh, what's going on here? So I drop down an arc mine, which is going to hit everything. And then I'm going to drop on a smoke because, well, AoE is nice. Uh, luckily, I noticed that in time. Uh, the new Atlas is going to go off and lose a pilot in the smoke, but it was worth it. Kept myself alive there. So once again, going at B, and I'm just going to rocket grunts him to try to hold B, drones the sentry, rocket grunts are going to shoot, kill sentry tech easily, drones easily kill the sentry. He does have rocket grunts today, but I send in uh, both my mobile pilots, and boom, got A right back, and that pretty much ends the game right there. A lot of back and forth, a lot of trouble dealing with uh, sentry tech plus sentries because I lack robotic damage. But I really just needed to get out uh, Titans and Drones. And as you can see, once that happened, it wasn't that much of an issue. Now, coming up, um, you're going to see what happens when you play till 3 a.m. every morning and then only sleep for two hours, go to work, and play again. Uh, Free Your Mind is someone who I've played a ton 
of games against. I feel like in the last four days, I've played him like 20 or 30 times, maybe more. Um, just about every time was a victory. Uh, and then when you start relying on a lot of combinations and you're a little off in your timing, you'll see what happens. So I lead off with my stem. He decides he's going to grab two points. He wants to be greedy. So I'm going to send my sniper out. And uh, I mined there because I was worried that my sniper was going to have to shoot at drones, which he did do, but they were late, so the, the mine got wasted. Fortunately, his mine takes up my mine and my units, and my sniper is dead. Um, I do rocket grunts to try to salvage this, but he had stimmed. So I'm about to have a real bad time. So the stim uh, was actually sent to kill the sniper, it looked like, but the drone just finished it off. Uh, then Ghost came in and died stupidly. Another waste of supply. So I'm about to be down two hard points to one. And I've just gotten everything I have killed. Uh, we're even in supply, but however, he has more on the field. I sent Sniper up, and it's just a total waste because it gets killed by Ninja, and it was just going to be shooting at shots. Uh, luckily, my ghost does go in, kill, kill the gunner, take out the skin. It's going to die to Ninja, but at least my drones finish off the Ninja, and then my drones plus Stim finish off his drones. Back and forth game. Uh, the score is about to be even, although I'm about to move into B. Problem is, he's got an eye on there, and this is when I arc line. Gonna send the eye, and now I'm probably going to drop a Ronin. I know myself. There we go. So that, that stun ion, who now has about, um, what, two-thirds of DPS of Ronin, or robotic DPS, it's just going to have a bad time. So my stem is still barely alive because his stem is too busy shooting at my drones because they're always distracting. Uh, the Ronin is going to take some gunner damage, but my pilots finish off very quickly. So that mine, once again, total waste. Uh, luckily, however, if you see he is ahead by two score, but that's about to change as I do have two hard points to his none. He does drop ninja and smoke to real overkill, I think. He just spent nine supply to kill my two pilots, but however, he has a huge map presence now. The ninja is running around. Ronin did kill the ninja turret, come back, and just realize, oh, can't do anything. Unfortunately, my core IM, which was supposed to be my saving grace there, got EMP'd, so it is gonna die. However, luckily, the arc line is going to help take out that smoke. And looks like we're back on even footing again. Well, he does have two hard points to my one, but I do have a supply advantage. Drone on drone action here. Sounds like a bad porno. Bad joke, I know. Fortunately, his drones won. So he's got this stand out. I did drones up there to protect my ghost because I was worried about the ninja. Might have worked. Unfortunately, he dropped Ion, and the drones just melted away. Uh, he's only currently holding B, which we have a little stim on stim action. My stim is higher level, so it should win, but unfortunately, he's starting to get some support. Which means I need to send Ghost, and probably Ronin. Oh, I sent Smoke. Not sure why I didn't deploy the Smoke part somewhere else, but either way, should kill the Ion. Unfortunately, I'm down two hard points to none. So now it's a desperation time. And I'm retaking A. There's a little fight going on in B, where he does have two pilots. And unfortunately, EMPs, which makes the stim just ignore those titans and run all the way down to A. And he's back at full HP and those rocket grunts. Do a ton of damage, but still can fire again. I think he left one of the backs still alive, but no, nope, it's dead. He takes A. It's alright. I've got B and I realize I need C. I can't let that gunner get C. If that gunner gets C, I'm dead. So I'm sending Ghost out. I'm gonna drones. And unfortunately, I misplay the mine. The mine misses the gunner. If that mine went off, I would have had C. And he would have a 99 score. And unfortunately, oh, 199. I was about to tick again and actually have 100, but no. Nope. He got me just in time. So you can see with the complicated method of needing pilots plus mine, pilot mine, pilot mine, if you start messing up the mines, your pilots aren't going to cut it because you get what you pay for. You know, there's strong pilots for two costs, but 
When you're up against three cost pilots, you're automatically at a disadvantage. So you need that burn support. If you're messing up the burns and it's just the two pilots versus the three cost pilots, as you can see over the course of a game, you're really going to have a bad time. Luckily, we do have uh, another game and it is quite chaotic. I'm just going to say that um, all it needs is boss battle music. Enjoy this matchup right, of the two cost pilots, guys. Have a good night. And now begins the boss battle. Bravo hardpoint lost.
thank you for watching. Uh, I will be trying to do a weekly commentary. Uh, otherwise, I might in between just do a quick uh, two-minute video with some music here and there. Be sure to check in the description for Free Your Minds video. He has a nice one up of him kicking my ass. And as usual, uh, leave me comments here on YouTube or on Discord. I will be taking suggestions for future videos.